a portrait of a fool with an interesting story. Today, we will be examining the true story of Alexander Roberts. Now, Alexander was much like a typical young lad, running around the backyard screaming his head off and getting into trouble. However, there was one thing that set him apart from all else. He was the clumsiest man in the world. Now, there are a couple theories to why Alexander is the clumsiest man in the world. It could be that his brain was too small. It could be that he couldn't see his fall. But I think the most likely reason of all was that his shoes were always tied together. Now this can cause certain problems, especially when you were never taught how to tie or even untie your shoes. And problems they did cause him, over and over again. Oh, Alexander, oh, don't worry, it'll heal up in no time. See, there you go. And there you go. Alexander, you silly fool. Now many years went by and this problem never fixed itself. And a lot of pain it did cause poor Alexander. But he was determined. He would always get up from his fall with a smile on his face, ready to face the next fall with dignity. Now eventually, Alexander thought he could be quite clever. Alexander decided that if he couldn't untie his shoes, he would have one choice. He would hop up and use both feet at the same time. Now sometimes, Alexander would get so carried away that he'd forget to come back down. <laughs> and he'd just glide around the backyard without a care in the world. So for a while, this worked for Alexander, until one day... Oh, what's this? Oh no, something terrible has happened! Something catastrophic is on its way! Oh, Alexander, he's tripped! Oh, Alexander, it's a long way down! Oh no, oh dear me, oh god! Oh, Alexander, watch out! No! No, look out for that rock! Alexander! Al Alex! Alex! Uh, uh, oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Alexander, can you hear me? Oh! Oh no, folks! It's, it appears it's all over for poor Alexander! Oh, Alexander, you... You little cheat, you! Oh, Alexander! Hey. You were singing off key. Me? Singing off key? Why, that's preposterous. However, I will show you something that is off. This tree right here. Oh, boy, what's wrong with it? Looks perfectly fine to me. No, 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 no. Something is wrong with this tree, and I shall fix it. Ta-da! Mm. <sighs> no. This ornament goes down here. <clears throat> ah! No, 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 no. No, it goes over here. See? <clears throat> no, no, that <gasps> doesn't go there at all. It'll never work. It's gotta go somewhere else. Let's see where it was. Well, get your mediocre uh, hands off it right uh, now! Who you call a mediocre? I'll show you where this thing goes. Ah! Uh, show you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a bad spot at all. As for those glasses, they look better on someone else. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Continue this musical number by myself. Thank you very much. Uh, This is a true story of terror. Even I'm afraid to tell it sometimes. It all started one night. I was snug as a bug, ready to get a good night's sleep. I slept for a while until something woke me up. A noise from outside. Now, what was that? And then all of a sudden, a red glow started emanating from the I was so terrified my eyes would dilate. And then all of a sudden, the room turned cool shade of blue, and the red localized within my heart a fire and glow. I screamed within an inch of my life. I screamed some more. 
And then all of a sudden, the light rushed out from behind me and flew up into the room. I screamed even more, for it was all I could do as a creature of unimaginable terror and darkness rose to the top of the room and touched the ceiling with its light. And it looked upon me with a terrifying gaze of evil I can't describe. And it said, Oh, I was going, eh? Ah, uh, nothing's going on with me, man. Just the same old. How about you? Nothing much. I think no. That's uh, fine. Here's a picture of my teeth. After spending approximately one year inside the tent, Ivan finally emerged, broken and tired, though he wasn't quite sure if he was ready to face the outside world, so he went back in. Now he was ready to face the outside world. It took quite a lot longer for Damien to finally emerge. He started off with some stretching, only to find horror. He immediately fled back inside the tent, but something was inside, and it killed him. What was it? We tried to go inside the tent and find what could have done this to Damien. But before we could, Ivan ate the corpse, and so, well, that's that. <laughs>